Hey there, my name is Dimitri, and in this video, we're gonna dive into the three ways that you can automate your life in 2024. Everyone's daily routines are getting crazy busy nowadays. And for me, I have a couple specific tips that I use in my day-to-day -day life, and I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, how does this man pump out so much content on his own side of what he's doing with his personal business and then on the content services side. Well, for me, I can run an agency and have all my content get pumped out because I do a few of the following things. And I'm gonna put them into three different categories. First is gonna be practical automations. Second is going to be automation software and the more traditional actually automating tasks sense. And third is going to be automations that improve the speed at which I can complete manual work. But first, let's talk about the category number one, practical automation. So you probably already do this if you have a clock app on your phone or your iPad or your Mac. Something I recommend, and this is not something I'm joking about, is simply doing something as small as utilizing alarms. So. I don't use this on my computer necessarily, but something I recommend that you do is if you're getting up at the same time every day, simply set up a alarm for something like 5.45 a.m. Monday through Friday, and that alarm will go off and you'll wake up. Now, I know you might be saying something like, Dimitri, we know to set an alarm, but a lot of people don't set recurring alarms. They simply just set one based on when they're gonna go to bed. And that's okay, but I also have to point out the fact that these are going to be practical automations. Once again, there's something that you should try to implement in order to save yourself time that you don't even think about, like having a recurring alarm rather than you having to set it every time you go to bed. Secondarily, another automation I recommend is using something like recurring tasks. Now, this recurring task list is actually for chores. Now, there's gonna be a lot of ones here that you see that are a little bit overdue, right? It's Labor Day weekend, give me a break. But you'll notice there's a list of reminders as to different things that I have to get done regarding cleaning up. So for example, I sprained my MCL last year. This is just a simple reminder to do rehab and to do some core strength take my vitamins, wipe down the counter, Swiffer the floor, dust, mop, all of these different things. And you can tell how well I've kept up with them or not based off of this. And uh, yeah, I'm a little behind on mopping, sorry. But having this recurrently available to you and then trying to clear it out as best as you can every day is a practical automation that will let you keep your house more clean and help you build better habits. And last but not least, you're actually gonna be shocked as to this recommendation. You should utilize your Amazon account if you have one and purchase your groceries through Amazon Fresh. So I actually get a lot of this stuff on a recurring basis where it'll like add it to my cart every week, every two weeks, every month. And then from there, I get my groceries delivered. But not only that, even for my basic essentials, I have coffee that gets sent to me on a recurring basis that's just through my normal Amazon account. I have vitamins delivered to me on a normal recurring basis that I always take, whether it be vitamin B or D. I have some of my antihistamines that I take for my, my bad pollen allergies sent on a recurring basis. I have toilet paper, paper towels, all these basic things that you need sent to me on a recurring basis so that I can take a swig of this and not worry about whether I'm gonna run out of it because I'm gonna have another shipment of coffee coming in soon. So these are all practical automations and those are things that you can do on a very easy basis with the subscriptions you already have or some free subscriptions to give yourself so much more mental space in your daily routine. The second category is gonna be automation. I use two main accounts currently. I use make.com and Zapier. Both of these are essentially very high level automations on the make side and then more simple zaps here that allow me to do cool things. Like for example, when someone books a discovery call, I have a sequence set up so that it finds the client that I have, it sends a message to the team members, letting them know that they have a discovery call coming up and assigning them a task to prepare the agenda for that meeting. I have some other ones like, for example, uh, payment received is a big one for me, whether it be uh, Stripe or PayPal. I have an automation on the Stripe side and the PayPal side so that when I get paid, it automatically captures the invoice, updates the invoice status of what I made an instance of in Notion in order to change the payment status to paid, connect it to the Google Drive, uploaded invoice that was automatically generated, and then also send a message to the team saying, hey, here comes the money, Stripe payment was made for 
X amount of money automatically sends in my account. All of these little automations add up, like the issue that comes up when you send out so many invoices per month is that as your company grows, it's going to be harder and harder and harder for you to be able to do something like handle a large number of invoices without needing to you know, hire somebody eventually to handle the invoices themselves. And not only that, there's all of those little tasks that are a part of it, like re-uploading the instance of the paid invoice to your Google Drive so that it is in a relevant place for accounting, naming conventions for when it was paid, the client it's associated to, all of these things. I have that all automatically done, right? So these automations are things you should think about in your day-to-day -day work or business. Even if it's as simple as something in your personal life, right? When you get an email from a certain person that's maybe from a company that you wanna capture the different coupons you're getting, you can have it automatically go into a specific inbox using automation or even Gmail's built-in filtering system. These are the kind of things that you can think of in order to save yourself time. Now, there is a third category that I wanna dive into, which is actually thanks to the sponsor of this video. This is going to be on the scraping and manual work automations. One of the most time consuming tasks for me personally is researching and gathering data from different web pages. And, and this could be for new video ideas or compiling lists of different things like social media accounts, competitor sites, just as any manual data entry task requires me to type stuff or copy paste. But I've been using this awesome tool, Magical, to help me with moving data around without the need to copy and paste. These days, many of my routine tasks are all done by Magical. It's no build automations are so easy and allow you to effortlessly speed through repetitive tasks, saving me hours a week. Magical works on any site across the web, over 30,000 of them, and it's completely non-technical, so it's easy to use and takes two minutes to set up. That's why I often use Magical to automate workflows. For example, there's autofill and data entry automations. These are tasks where you're moving information from one place on the internet that has a specific source to another place, which is your destination. This is especially great for websites that are a little light on integrations or APIs and places that Zapier can't even touch. All you have to do is install the magical extension. And as you can see here, it works here on the side of your web browser. So for example, if I go to Crunchbase, you see there's like a list of different uh, productivity apps that I could look at. And if I wanted to open up a bunch of these right here, I can click on this magical option right here. And you'll see if I click on this, it grabs all the relevant data. And if I see where it says add to a new spreadsheet, all I have to do is click on it and then select all of the tabs that are related to Crunchybase. And you'll see right here, what it's gonna do is it's gonna capture all of this data and then name it Crunchbase Organization via Magical. And this is pretty great. I'm able to get this huge list of tabs and I could have done more than five. I mean, I, if I wanted to, I could scroll through and keep grabbing them and keep grabbing them and then eventually get, you know, with over 30 tabs. But the fact that I was able to click the button and it got all of those immediately is pretty amazing. The same thing can happen if I go to LinkedIn and show you a larger data set. As you can see right here, I have a couple of different people on LinkedIn, a larger data set that I wanna add to a spreadsheet. And where I'm at now is I'd have to copy and paste all this data into a spreadsheet if it wasn't for Magical. So let's press add to a new spreadsheet on this and it has the data label set up and let's do all tabs. And it's gonna get all of this incredible large set of tabs onto the sheet in a moment's notice. Yeah, that would have taken a while to copy and paste. Another great thing it can do is it can speed up repetitive tasks for other things like email responding or responding to messages in LinkedIn, Facebook, or WhatsApp. For example, I can respond to this email right here saying yes. And essentially, if the person asked me to leave feedback on a product like Upwork, then I would be able to respond with a yes, that's better than just a yes. Or I can give a custom response saying I want an energetic yes or something like that. So I could say, I want to give an energetic yes to Ali presenter. And then it would change to, that's great to hear. I will be happy to leave you feedback on Upwork. That's awesome. I save a lot of time doing this. I really don't like writing emails. I find them to be kind of a waste of time. So I appreciate the fact that Magical allows me to answer these emails so quickly and effectively with its AI. So if you manage or update databases or need data sets really quickly, need to respond to emails, you gotta try out Magical because it is the best way to work on popular sites and save a lot of time. Or even those random internal homegrown sites that don't typically work with automation apps. It's so simple that anyone can start using it. So please hit the link down below 
and try it out today. And that's some of the different ways that you can automate your daily routine and work using tips from me, Dimitri. The guy who knows so much about productivity apps that he's asking you to put in the comment section down below what your thoughts are because I'm trying to be humble. I know you guys know a little bit more than me about some stuff. So if you ever have some feedback as to like, ah, I don't really agree with that, please leave it in the comment section down below. You guys are awesome. I love each and every single one of the comments that I receive, regardless of whether it's positive or negative. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.